Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at the Aquila gunship which looks absolutely magnificent. As you can see those turrets in the background here and they appear to be moving. Huh. But yes, these turrets at the back here are custom made and they will actively lock on to the enemy and start firing like a regular turret. They are just glorious to see when they start firing. So we got five galley guns on each side and we've got two on the top and we have three on the bottom. One at the front and two at the back. So starting from below here we have got some ion thrusters, we've got atmospheric and we have hydrogen thrusters so we got the whole shebang with those. This thing over here is the landing gear. It just lands on the blast door edges and there's a lot of smoke there. Around the side here we've got another little landing gear which works on a pistol which we can raise up later on. Over here we have the decoy maker which will create decoys and basically poop them out with parachutes which I'll show later on but there is the welder and that's how they come out. Around the back here is the hydrogen thrusters. Originally I thought this was the entrance in and almost walked straight into the thruster. That could have been a very sticky situation. But we got more atmospheric, we got antennae, another hydrogen, and this is the uh, second wing. But that is basically it for the outside. It's just a very nice ship with some very fancy turrets on top. So I'm going to take control of my character. And we're going to go inside. With the cockpit at the front, just above is a doorway to go in. But if we were on the ground, we can come up this ladder here. So pretending I'm climbing up that because it takes quite a while to go up these ladders. We now come inside. Opening up this door will cause the lights to start flashing red and it will scream at you until you close it up. There is a door to the front of the ship and we have a ladder going down. Opening up this door will lead us to the cockpit. So there's not much in this ship in terms of walking around. It's simply a way to get to the cockpit. But we do have some chairs going around the room. So the two chairs over here have got some lovely displays for you to look at. Most of them are decorational, but a few at the bottom here do tell you bits of information about your ship, such as the hydrogen, the oxygen tanks, and all that. Coming around to here, we have a secondary chair, which once again doesn't do anything if I was to bring up the HUD. There are no buttons there for you to do. It just has some decorational screens and one functional one, which will tell you what's going on with the hydrogen and all that. But then we come to this chair here. Once again, nothing on our HUD for us to control. We have some lovely screens, once again with the hydrogen, oxygen, air vents, and everything which is going on with your ship. But if we were to press K and take remote access of this ship, we get some lovely options. Going into third person and putting my camera down like this, I'm going to press number three, which is going to raise up the fancy landing gear. I would prefer having the regular landing gear or perhaps a modded landing gear, but it wasn't my build, so I can't really argue with that. Pressing number two will activate the hydrogen thrusters if you want to go really fast. Now I'm going to press space to raise us up. But if you notice, all the atmospheric thrusters are all facing in one direction. So we're going to fix that by pressing one, which will tilt them all forwards and we enter in jet mode. So you're just going to wait for them to turn completely. And now we can start flying forwards. This thing, for the size of it, is very fast once it gets going. But stopping is a different story. You have to make sure you have plenty of room to stop this ship. Or you're going to end up in a cliff face. Number five is how we deploy the decoys. So there they're being built. And they should release their little parachutes. There they go. And yeah, they're just little decoys for your enemies to attack. And this will continuously make decoys while you're in creative mode, unless you press number six to tell it to stop. I made that mistake earlier, and I just kept pooping out decoys everywhere, and it started to lag the game out because there's too many of them. Number seven is aligned to gravity, so it stops your nose from just nubbing around when you're trying to stay still. And number eight, turns off the atmospheric thrusters. That is basically it. But what we're going to do now, we're going to go find a Canadian goose to shoot. And wow, he was close. I didn't realise how close he was to me. 
So very carefully trying to turn myself around, we're going to go attack that goose. Turning off the HUD, he should be in range. And there goes the turrets. The turrets will automatically search out and attack the target like a regular turret. Ooh, it is lagging though, those goose do have a lot of blocks on them. And he appears to be wall hugging. And I'm going to try and go round. Not the best thing for tight manoeuvring. There's the turrets on top. Ripping that goose to shreds. We even have those little small interior turrets behind there to add some extra firepower in. But that goose does not know what hit him. But this is basically it for this video and I think I'm going down. There's the goose. Keep firing man. We do not want to get hit by that laser. Uh oh. As ironic as it sounds, I might be a sitting duck. Yeah, Keep flying. But yes, that is basically it. It's just a lovely gunship with some fancy turrets. And it flies fast. What more do you want? So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another video at some point soon. But for now, we are going to fly away and go straight towards the cliff edge. And that goose has no head and it's still flying towards me. So we're going to go at top speed into the mountainside. And I'll end it here. In fact, no. We're going to... Actually, I can't change my course now. The turning on this is not the best. Here we go. 100 meters per second. Game is already lagging before I even hit the side. And there goes the ship. Jolly good. Oof, that audio. What's going on with that? Oh, I do love it when ships crash properly. Always makes me so happy. But yes, like I said, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another Space Engineer Showcase video sometime soon. Bye bye.